troops. All right. Let's see what's going on. What's going on? All right. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Let's see what's going on with you. It is April 1st. This is going to be for April 2nd. I will be on live as soon as I can, guys. I promise. What the? Okay. Huh. Okay. So. April 2nd, 2nd slash 3rd, 2020. What is going on? What's going on? What's going on? On a, on a positive side. So let's look at it on a positive side. Because I think sometimes we forget to... Oh, I almost, I wanted to talk about gratitude, but I just talked about, in my head, I was just talking about accountability. So I don't know what that's regarding necessarily. Okay. Um, the dancer came out to inspiration in the beginnings. So on a positive note, okay, there's a new beginning. Um, something's, it's... The inspiration, I think, is, is trying to find it, okay? And then you got the companion. So. I feel like, on a positive note, there's an opportunity to step into new. And I've had this conversation with you guys before. Some people would be like, Court, the new's not here. The opportunity is not here. You guys always have the opportunity to start new. Always choose a new direction. No matter the depth of sorrow, sorrow or depression or, or whatever you're in or, you know, lack of finances, not being able to do X, Y, Z, there's always, 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 always an opportunity. You have to see it, create it, okay? It takes time. It can be frustrating. I think some of you are right now trying your hardest to have like an upbeat type momentum going on which is great this is the opportunity if it isn't already happening it will most definitely happen um <clears throat> now with the inspiration okay i think trying to find it seek it i mean it's there everyone's inspiring everybody trying to inspire um I did cut it at the cherry and the knight of swords, so that's that's nice. You're definitely leaving some stuff behind. Um, and then you have the companion. So the spirit's definitely with you. Mirror magic might work well for you. Glass. Even candle magic. Um, or reading candles. You know, my candles used to talk to me all the time. For those who have been with me for a long time, you know, I'd always light a candle beginning of the read. And at the end of the read, the wick would always have a figure. I haven't done that in a long time being under my parents' roof because, you know, they don't. <clears throat> they're not big on candles. Okay. So, I feel like, you know, this, this is what I want to say to you too. This is why I wanted to do a week of inspiration because it's so important for you right now to create something and it doesn't have to be like, 
massive, but it can end up being magnificent when it's all said and done, right? Just look at something in a, in a different way. Like me, I can't burn the candles. Okay, not the end of the world. You know, I'm outside, I'll light a candle. Like, I'll have my own place again. You know, um, not really worried about it. Taking something and looking at it differently instead of looking at it as like, oh, that's a drag, you know? There's so many times I could have been out under stressful conditions and I decided to stay because it was what's best or the place wasn't that like fitting or suiting or big enough or it was whatever the circumstances were, I still always found myself here for a higher reason because I, I just, I don't want to settle on anything. And the fact that I'm even talking about it, I think is because it's, it's here somewhere. Okay. Um, you know, deciding to let something go is a new beginning. Deciding to start a new job is a new beginning. Deciding to take up a hobby is a new beginning. Deciding to study a new subject, a new area of whatever it is you want to expand your, your mind on. It's a new beginning do it especially now it's gonna help you it's a, see something it's it's almost like awakening energy um hmm. Tell me about beginnings. I don't really know how to <clears throat> word it because I, I don't know how they want me to read this. Do they want me to push it? Do they want me to tell you, is there a blockage? Do they want me to, you know, like I said, push, find the obstacle, um, or what's happening? All right, so something's going to be intense. And I don't feel any intensity here, okay? So this is nice. Unless you're actually feeling that push, like, oh, boredom. You know, um, I think you're feeling that. But in a, in a different way, like, for instance, for example, boredom. You know, it's like, you know you want new, you know, you just know. You know, it's like that. So to me, that intensity feels more of a push. Yeah, see, death in the page of Pence, it actually makes sense that it'd be more of a push. Like, something definitely ended, there's a new beginning. You know it, you feel it, you're off. We did see the chariot. So I'm not, tell me about intensity, because I'm not really feeling like, oh my gosh, this is crazy, this is super intense. I mean, it can be, but not with the other energy. To me, it's the, it's the push, it's the inner knowing. Some of you are fully awakened, and I don't have that many fully awakened followers like that. There's, there's only so many. And, and, I, and I hope you don't, no judgment, I hope you don't get upset with me. I'm, to be honest with you, like, I was thinking about that the other day when you're fully awake and it's incredibly hard. Like, I think you'd find my channel incredibly boring after a certain amount of time saying, why we keep discussing the same, like, there's only so much, like, you know, whether you're here to, to chit chat or be part of the community, we all have our reasons, right? So... And we all go through awakenings all the time, but it does not mean you're fully awakened. So I don't know if like you're in between voids, like there's there's something in between here. Because that intensity is not like, oh my God, it's, tell me about intensity. I'd feel it if it was like that. I feel all sorts of things and I'm not, I'm not feeling it, which makes me think it's more blah. 
Okay, so eight of wands. It's like that. It's the push. The eight of wands is also a spiritual journey. A lot of people look at it as messaging, texting, emailing. That's a thing, right? Something might kick off where it's like, it's, it's nice. Somebody might inspire you or vice versa. But to me, it this is a beginning of something. I don't believe you're feeling that intensity, though. You know, eventually, or or this might be for, for Tuesday. It might be for... Didn't we actually do April 2nd? We had the Five of Wands and, and the Queen of Swords. I did say the 2nd and 3rd, but this is completely different energy. The Six of Swords was there, but... It, there could be intense messaging, intense back and forth, exciting. But this is also a journey, feeling that push, that drive. Now at the bottom of the deck here too, you have the dancer of life. I mean, look at the dancer. You, I mean, you definitely have that that energy right now. It's beautiful. Let me find out about inspiration. Okay, yeah, see, there's, I'm going to go one more because that fell out, but that's, that's something being guided. It does, the threes do represent, well, it's also the, the Holy Trinity, but it's, it's also Empress type energy here, but, um, you're being, being guided that way in that direction. Yeah, see, it, this is a push. It looks nice. It looks gentle. I don't feel that intensity like that at all. I, I think I think you're out of that. Like, you know. And if it's anything, if it, there's any intensity, it's, it's a different kind, like the push. So you got the wheel. We are the world. So it's definitely a new cycle. It could be someone at, at foreign lands here at a distance, but you're definitely in a, in a new cycle. Tell me about We Are the World. I just saw Justice in the death card. I could have sworn that the chariot was there too. So the some type of, leaving some type of, some of you karmic situation, Ace of Cups, We Are the World, huh? So there's a new cycle self-love or a new offer of love and you got the fool so will you take it and underneath that you got the knight of cups so some of you got some new people coming in and i don't know if they're linked to the companion okay you got a new cycle a new relationship a new offer of love considering i can i see the fool holy moly okay so because i because i said i saw the fool and the knight of cups and the two of cups yeah two of cups is next okay so you might be getting out of that boredom that I talked about, or you're just leaving the past completely behind. Because this is this is brand new. Brand new love. Okay. Brand new offering. So could it be for somebody to pass? Possibly, but I don't I don't look at it like that. Not with the Knight of Cups and that. It's, it's brand new. Um this person's going to inspire you. You're going to inspire them. There's it's like you might have this intense connection all of a sudden out of nowhere. Just bam, out of nowhere. Somebody was directed and guided right into your life. A new cycle with love. So congratulations. <clears throat> I do want to clarify guidance. And I say for congratulations for those who really want new love. And I, I am a love channel, right? But there's there's so much more. Um, there's so much more to me and my channel that I'm, I'm really not just discovering always knew I had the capability this is what brought me here but it's, it's figuring that out right so um I want to read energy in a different way it's not all about love and who marries who and a boyfriend and a girlfriend and, and I have to have it and I deserve it and and all that it, it's it's not you know our generation it's it's like we got stuck in a reciprocal cycle. It's it's natural, right? It's 
I do want to guide another generation, to be honest with you. I, I don't want another generation coming into, you know, it, it's so important to, to marry the same religion or it's so important to marry or I just want a girlfriend, I just want a boyfriend. Nah, study and focus. You know, I, I'm, I'm just in the midst of things trying to pinpoint what I really want to, what I really want to do to. I'm still going to be with you guys, don't worry. I'm just going to approach your energy differently, okay? But <clears throat> with guidance, this is this is like, it's, it's Scorpio, it's the rise of the phoenix, okay? It's it's beautiful. It's, it's like rebirth, it's like you were reborn. That's why I think I feel like that, uh, so it's not really blah, it's, I don't know yet, or foggy. I wouldn't say confusion by any means. That's why I even kind of felt the void. Okay, so something's coming your way, Trooper Lupus. That's awesome. Okay. So, now, let's get to the companion. It just looked down and I think it was 1622, but I could have sworn it said 1022. That's it's definitely a void. Um, companion. I just saw a postponement come up, but there was too many underneath. I just want one for companion. <clears throat> Nothing would be postponed in this situation, so that's why I was not taking three or four cards. This is new. It's, it's fresh. It's inspiring, whether it's a new area of study, whether you, you met somebody online, it, it's that type of, that type of energy. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I'm going to wrap this up so you want to go on a bike ride? That's right. I want to go for a shower. You want to take a shower? Okay. Yeah. Um. And then we'll go on a bike ride. Well, why don't we take the bike ride first because it's a little chilly and you don't want your hair to be wet. Give me five minutes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, nah. Nay. Okay. You go for a bike ride later? Yeah, but not too much later. Okay, 6.30. I don't know what time it is. 5.45. No, take a faster shower than that, please. What do you mean? I never said we're going to get All right, a I want to finish at that time. Okay, but I just, you, you were just kind of like in the shower for a while the other day. I, okay, I, so. I was actually 20 minutes the other day. Um, that was crazy, that thing. Cray, cray. Crick, hey, child. Yeah. So, see ya. Guidance, I was talking about threes. It could be the Empress. It, well, the, I was talking about threes. Holy Trinity. You know, the Empress is ironic because now she's at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so. Um, slow down. Especially if this is intense, but I, I don't feel that. I, I feel that type of energy when it comes into my reads. And it's so freaking mellow okay it's nice um no over exerting it, it's nice so slow down no need to rush a situation no need to figure everything out at one time or no need to be like oh blah 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 like i don't know it, something might actually move really quickly for you guys you know so, no need to rush this new connection or whatever is going down with you guys. Tell me about slowing down. So, there's definitely a solid situation here with the full coin. But you're also holding on to something. And I don't want you to overthink anything. I don't see overthinkridge. Overthinkridge is not a word. There's a new one for Court's Dictionary. Um, this might actually be the opposite where you're actually slowing down a situation because of something that happens in the past only because we have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So 
So let me clarify. I want to see if, because four is a solid number. To me, it's like you need to release, but that's reading it like I normally would, and, and I can't. You've already released a situation. You know, so that's why that doesn't, it doesn't follow suit. You might be holding in, holding back. It, I mean, you got kind of two cards of holding back. Okay, so I don't know if you're going to be a little weary. I mean, you do have the empress and then you have success, right? So it's, it's almost like an inner knowing, but the inner knowing... I'm not saying it's throwing you off by any means, but it looks like the feminine with that empress for sure is, is holding back. I mean, this is two cards are holding back. And I, and I, I don't necessarily think that um, this is spirit saying to hold back, right? No. It's definitely a destiny, healing, blessing, wish. But see, here's the thing too. Like, it, it's like as beautiful as this new connection may be or, or however it is because this person's going to inspire you. It's, it's going to give you that spunk back that some of you like – needed and you might you know sometimes you need other energy to come in motivate and, and spark um but you're gonna be super apprehensive now i'm not necessarily reading this as deception by any means but sabotage for sure and the hangman it's like you're just hanging around you know like you really don't know what to do with the connection so you're kind of putzing you're not entertaining it but it's here so I don't, you know, I you must be focused elsewhere, but I don't see it. I don't see where else you'd be focused. I mean, everyday stuff, right? But um, the the word phenomenon just came to me, so I don't know what's about to go down. Um, <clears throat> that's a message for someone, but um, it also just pulled me to the movie too. Um. Who's in that one? John Travolta? John Travolta? Travolta? Anywho, you got all cards are holding back. Making someone wait. Possibly sabotaging a situation. Wow. Okay, so there is a new opportunity to love in love it something was guided right to you love arrows going this way the guidance going this way like whatever this new beginning is whatever this is that's inspiring you or vice versa if you're inspiring somebody else you meet them you know it, it, it's like it's nice and then you got the feminine energy holding back i mean you have every freaking card of holding back plus sabotage Okay, so, you know, please be careful there. I am going to throw you one advice card. Regarding the new connection the new person i mean ace of cups is a brand new opportunity in love it's a it's a new offer and the knight of cups to me is always new and you had a two of cups so and you have the companion i really initially tried to read it so spirit was with you because those are important type of messages that you guys need to hear you know but it's like spirit's like no 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 we're just gonna put that out there you know so <clears throat> so best advice for the companion <clears throat> mm. 
you got the king of Gabriel, so not a coincidence that that was at the bottom of the deck too. So it's the same energy, but keep your eyes on the big picture. Leave the details to others. Experience that leads to success, and, and we do have that. So this could actually be his energy or her energy, you know, but here's the success. And, and look at Six of Gabriel, so now actually at the bottom of the deck, so now you have it twice. So it's like you're holding back from this person, or vice versa. But it also says here, congratulations, you're doing a wonderful job. Time to move to your next project, awards, scholarships, promotions, partnerships, right? And that's coming in. So you don't really need to hold back. Especially if there's an air sign coming at you, it is Aries. We are in Aries season, so it could be any any zodiac. Okay. Um, enjoy the newness, the freshness. And then you got the Page of Cups, you know, which is great. A new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships, social invitations, and great intuitive insight. So you guys will be going back and forth with communication, and there will be some feelings there. Okay. And you got the nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Stay determined, move forward, and be prepared for any possibility. So there's someone coming at you. Don't hold back. There's there's no reason to at this point. Okay. Go with the flow. Go with the flow. Okay, guys. I love you. Oh, just hold me to this deck. So I'm going to pull a card. I hope, I, you know, I don't know what's going to come out, but I was like, nay or yay. So I don't know if a yes or no is going to come out of this deck, but I wanted to say, like, I hope it's more of a message than yes or no. But any advice when it comes to this companion? I mean, to have the intensity and to have the eight of wands, that's a lot of energy. That's, it's nice. It's nice. Okay. And you got romance. And then the next few months, that came out stepping into April. So something is really going to kick off for you guys. And this might be in the next, all this might actually take place in the next few months. Or the feminine is just not ready or the masculine, it, you know, but this is new. It's, it's coming in. You know, spirit's not going to give me energy. You got a four here too, which is April, okay? But there's going to be something big in the next few months, whether it's work or this relationship goes to the next stage. There, There's something big in the next few months for the person you're meeting now or soon. Next eight days in April, you know, um... Tell me about the next few months. What came in? Because somebody commented too, like, I'm not waiting a few months. No, no one no one said to wait in that read at all. Um, yeah, see dreams, certain situations, dreams coming true in the next few months. Um, hold on, let me just look at something real quick. Yeah, no, this is coming in. And then there's there's something big. Um, tell me about the next few months. Just a little clue, if at all possible. It could be, I think yesterday's was linked to work, but I, I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. You did have a lot of coins. But there's, you know, this is starting. And, um... And then something in the next few months, it's going to be a big deal. <coughs> I hear the Eight of Cups letting go.
It's pulling me to a whole nother story. To me, it's like you're walking to your happy, right? This emperor, now I don't know if it's Aries or not, if it's someone else, if you're going to have two masculines in your life, because it looks like there's a masculine coming in. But in the next few months, too, there's there's this emperor-like energy that's letting go of something. Business, work, a marriage. It's either a marriage or a job. But this is coming in this week or, or within eight days. It's, it's like you're going to have a connection with, with someone... You know, and it could be saying, then this person's coming at you, but I, no. So I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like a wish and this person's going to let go of something, which is, it only benefits you. And I'm not saying it's a person, place, or a thing. I don't know what it is, but there is definitely a message for you guys. That they're definitely going to let go of something. And it's, like I said, again, it's, it's only beneficial for the other, for you. So there must be something in between now and the next couple months where it's like something must arise or get the best of you. Because you hold back. It's like you hold back until this energy fully releases something. And to me, that it kind of seems smart. But at the same time, this is also guided. So remember that too. So that's why I don't think this is necessarily like, hey, you're getting yourself involved with a, a third party. Like this is marriage. I'm not really looking at it like that. You know what I mean? Because spirit would never have you get in a situation like that. Um... I mean, well, yeah, you, you, but you gotta be smart enough not to put yourself in a situation like that. I'll put it that way. Um, because you're definitely gonna hold back until this person releases. So something's gonna come to your attention, or there's gonna be something that's bothersome. I don't see any signs saying this is a past person at all. So there's just something that, there's a situation, maybe this person works way too much. Maybe they're dedicated to work, 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 work as the emperor, right? And it's like, finally, you might be the one that slows them down, which is a good thing. Maybe your person is all about money. In business and finances, and they work way too much. So, this actually could be, like I said, because it's something that benefits the feminine or the masculine. However, you're reading this energy, it's it's extremely beneficial. Because in a way, it, it's you might actually be slowing them down, which would be wonderful. And it, it's like a wish for both of you. You, it looks like your companion might own their own business or, or be a leader in some type of industry, how, however it is for you, right? But it looks like in the next couple months or a few months, they're going to decide to let go of some type of title, position, something. It's like you're having them see things differently, especially because you had the hangman. You're giving them a different perspective on things. It's it's beautiful. You guys, they're... It's nice. Very, um... I almost said synergetic, but that's not the word. Um, counter... Yep, that's not the word I'm looking for either. Um, it's not even compromising. It's... 
yeah, you balance each other out, but it's, it's more than that. I can't think of the word, okay? But it, it's so beneficial. So if this energy comes in and it seems a lot for you, however you're reading this, just know things will slow down in a couple months. And if you ask me, it's, it's so you guys can enjoy together, time together, you know? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, y'all. I love you. Have a great rest of your night and next few days.